Let's get to CBS 13's Andrew Hobner now. He's at what's supposed to be another demonstration outside the federal courthouse in downtown Sacramento. It looks like you have a few people behind you, Andrew. Yeah, so we are out at the Matsui Federal Courthouse, and this is a demonstration organized by Sacramento's Democratic Socialists of America. People are filing in, but I want to introduce you all to Claire Layton Taylor. Claire, you're here to show support clearly. Can you put into words for me what you felt today and why you felt compelled to come out here? I'm sorry, I'm very emotional. Uh, a great sadness about what happened. Uh, because of the past that I know and the fact that um, women were given a lot of rights. I was given a lot of rights and the capacity to take care of myself and now those things have been taken away from us. And I'm concerned for myself, I'm concerned for the disparities in health care, I'm concerned for my grandchildren whom I'm visiting here from Boston. Did you, when you look at your grandchildren, did you ever think there would be a period in your life where you'd have rights progressively given and then taken for a, a generation after? Never, absolutely never. I mean, I was happy with all the things that had happened in the last five or six years, albeit we had a dictator for our president, but um, it, did, it never occurred to me that this would happen. Do you feel that this is something that will disproportionately affect marginalized groups? Absolutely, because women that are working day to day on shifts at restaurants, they're not going to be able to get time off to go have an abortion three states away. They're not going to have the resources to get good medical care, use an abortion pill, and if they have one, may need care afterwards, they could be prosecuted for that. And that shows that there's not going to be a lot of equity in our health care system. Claire, thank you so much for your candor. Really appreciate you being on with us. Guys, as we mentioned, demonstration is going to be continuing here throughout the evening. Andrew, thank you. We appreciate the candor and I want to point out, of course, for every voice that is uh, sad about today's ruling, there are people who are celebrating today as well. So lots of energy on both yeah. sides. Andrew, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. In terms of protests, Sacramento police tell CBS 13 they're keeping an eye on things, of course. They're going to have additional officers dedicated to monitor any demonstration should they occur. There's the full statement from the chief.